Hebrews 12, it says, For the joy set before him, he, Jesus, endured the cross, scorning its shame. Jesus gave up all he had, even his very life, and suffered hell itself for the joy of you and me, having life with him every day and forever. Such is his great love for you and for all. The Apostle Paul, after receiving this life in Jesus by grace through faith, wrote, For Christ's love compels us, that those who live should no longer live for themselves, but for him who died for them and was raised again. We do what we do because of who we are in Christ, by grace, through faith. Our motivation is love, the love we have received in Jesus, the love we can now give to others. What Paul wrote in Galatians is also true of us. I have been crucified with Christ, and I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. The life I live in the body, I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. I thank God, and I thank each of you for your faithful partnership in gospel ministry together with Christ. God continues to do great things here at St. Matthew. This last year, 20,000 worshipers, roughly 400 people per Sunday, heard the good news of Jesus Christ. Through October, we have received 28 new members with a number of folks in the on-deck circle. We confirmed 10 young people. We had 20 baptisms, with five of those being adult baptisms. Through our ministry together, we have touched children and families, through Children's Church and our nursery, through special events such as VBS, where we touched over 300 children and their families with the love of Jesus, through MOPS, where we continue to have over 30 moms and their children involved, as well as through our family and youth ministry, where Matt and Melissa have proven to be a dynamic team. We'll be sending close to 30 high school students to the National Youth Gathering this coming summer, a reflection of our continuing excellent high school ministry. And we will also send five college students to the National Youth Gathering that will they, where they will serve as mentors and staff, attesting to the faithful service that Matt has committed to with our college students. Just a few months ago, we also established a visitation team, which has proven to be a wonderful addition to our ministry together, where a number of you were given training to make ministry calls to our homebound those in nursing homes, and also in hospitals. Already, close to 100 calls have been made, each one bringing the wonderful presence of Jesus through the gospel into the life of another at a very critical time in their lives. And I wish all of you could see the thank you letters that we are sent as the elders continue to distribute 5% of our offerings as locally directed mission opportunities. As of October, over $27,000 has been distributed to such places as the Alternative Pregnancy Center, Feed My Starving Children, where once again over 100 of us took part in packaging thousands of meals for starving children around the world, which together we had already paid for through a donation of $7,500. The Placer County Food Bank, Fisher House, the Gathering Inn where the homeless are cared for, the Lazarus Project, which provides housing, the salt mine in Lincoln, Kairos Prison Ministry, and the list goes on and on and on. Thank you. And of course, 5% of our offerings have continued to go to our district and synod, through which gospel ministry is supported in California, Nevada, and Hawaii, and throughout the world. Again, thank you for your faithfulness. Set when you're ready. Okay. We also have seen our life group ministry, which has over 270 participants, continue strong, as well as our fledgling missional community group. And these are not just numbers. These are people coming together to support one another and to be there for each other in the hard times we all go through, as well as to encourage each other in our mission together and in our individual lives. Every ministry that happens here from the LWML to the various Bible studies, to Altar Guild, to our music ministry, to our greeters and those who man the guest table, to everything is because of you, as God the Holy Spirit guides and empowers you, and as you heed his voice. On a human level, everything happens because you give of your time, because you give of your abilities and gifts, because you give of your money. I thank God for you. And I thank you. It really is true. What we do matters. 
By God's grace, what we do has and continues to accomplish great things. So why are we doing this stewardship focus? Really, for two reasons. The first is that left to ourselves, we tend to regress, especially in the area of stewardship, using all that we are and have for the glory of God, yet also intentionally setting aside a portion of our time, abilities, and gifts, and yes, our money, for the work of the kingdom. We need, by the power of the Holy Spirit, to be renewed. And number two, God will also have us grow. We can do so much more. For instance, in this next budget, we are looking seriously at additional staffing for ministry, bringing Melissa on full-time, and perhaps even budgeting for an additional part-time staff person. And as I mentioned a couple of years ago, really, if we all would simply tithe with the money God has blessed us with, we would have the mortgage paid off in a year. God says to us, see that you also excel, grow in this grace of giving. Why? Certainly because what we do matters. Certainly because there is a direct line from what we give and the ministry that we can do. Certainly because we have God's promise that whoever sows generously will reap generously. Certainly because God promises that your labor in the Lord is not ever in vain. But also because Jesus says to us, where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. But how do we grow? As always, we grow as God's Spirit touches our hearts through His Word. And of course, as we heed, obey, humble ourselves under His Word and Spirit. In your packet is a 21-day devotional. These will also be emailed every day to everyone who has an email address. It is meant to bind us together in the unity of Christ as together we immerse ourselves for 21 days in God's word as he speaks to us, encourages us, empowers us to grow in our lives of stewardship individually for our ministry together. My hope and prayer is that you will join me as we individually, yet together as God's family in this place, humbly allow God's word and his spirit to guide and grow us in this life of stewardship. And here's an idea. Maybe you can even plan to pair up with at least one other person, or maybe two or three others, and use the discussion questions in each devotional to daily talk about what God is showing you and empowering you to do in your life of stewardship. Together, we can do even greater things in the mission of Christ, for Christ's love compels us. Thank you for your time, and may God bless this time in our lives individually and together as his family.